In this video I'm going to show you MapReduce and I'm going to illustrate it with a very simple example in Hadoop. So what is MapReduce? MapReduce is a process by which you get an output and you convert it into something else. You do something with that output. And it's done in two steps. First you get the input. I'm sorry, I meant input. First you get the input and the input you have to somehow associate it with the key value pairs. Usually in a file, by default, the key will be the line number and the value would be whatever's on that line. Okay, so if you're doing flat files. That goes into a map which takes this key value pair and generates a different key value pair uh, for each one of these records. Now, this different key value pair is then passed to a reduce process. And that reduce process again does something else to this key value pair and produces an output which is again a key value pair. Okay, that can be formatted in sort of a flat file. So let's illustrate this with an example. Let's say you have a flat file. Let's say you have a flat file with customer ID, month, amount, and payment type for transactions. So you have these customer IDs here. You can see I have two. 123098 and 123987. It's just they purchase or they made payments in different months. These are the amount they paid and whether they paid in credit or cash. This is, say, for example, a log. Now, the, the map phase is going to take this file. It's going to take this file. It's going to convert it into key value pairs, okay, which by default are going to be the line number, it's going to be the key, and then the value is going to be whatever's in the line. And it's going to take this and it's going to produce another key value pair. It's going to produce a key value pair where you have the customer ID and just the amount spent on that month for every month. So you'll group all the keys that are the same and you will retain their amounts in this way. You will process all the customers, all the customer IDs. So for example, for this first ID, and you will see that they, these are all the expenditures. You're going to create a list with all the expenditures. The same thing for this other customer, you create a list with all the expenditures. So again, we had this input and we created an output which is a key value pair. And the keys and values are very basically just, I pick, you know, the customer ID is going to be the key and then for every one of these keys I'm going to be accumulating the amount. I forget about the month, I forget about the payment type. Okay? One file output is a key value pair. Now the reduce, I pass this key value pair and what's going to happen is I'm going to produce another key value pair where this is going to be the key but then the value is going to be the addition of everything in this list. So basically the aggregate. So I have this key, the customer, and then the aggregate value. So then I know what each customer spent on my store you know regardless of months. So this could be in a year, whatever, whatever this file has. So again, we revisit the process a little bit. We had the input in key value pairs. You didn't see the key because it was the line number. But then I mapped it to customer ID and all of, it, all of the amounts of their transactions. That went to the reducer, which reduced that list to just a single value by adding them up. So now let's do this. This can be done at a larger scale and for larger scales, you usually want distributed. So the way the way the distribution uh, works is like this. Say I had the same file like I uh, illustrated at the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna separate it in blocks or splits within several nodes, which are you know computers or virtual machines or however you want to uh, create your storage, right? And in each of these nodes, I'm gonna store parts of the file. Let's see, or, or files, right? Let's say that we split our file in three. So in the first computer, I'm going to store two pieces. In the second, a different two pieces, and so on and so forth. Now, what's going to happen is to do the map reduce process, the, the, the map reduce program, in this case, say, for example, Hadoop, will actually partition the file, distribute it among clusters, and will pick the three blocks that comprise the file from any cluster. So for example, I'm going to pick block one, block two, and block three of this file from different clusters. 
if a cluster fails, say this for example fails, Hadoop will choose another block 3 from a different cluster. The advantage of splitting this into nodes is the following, is that when you're doing the map reduce, you pick, you know, block 1 from one cluster, block 2 from another, block 3 from the other, for example, and you run the map, and the maps are run in smaller chunks of the data in parallel. The mapper is usually in the same computer where the data lies. And what happens is the, the result of the map, remember, is a key value pair. The result of the map is a structure with key value pairs, but it is sorted by key. So for example, and then and then it's split. So say for example, I sort it into two, and say for example, the customer uh, IDs are not IDs, but they're num names, for example, I can have all the keys that resulted from this map from A to M in one segment of the file, and from N to Z in another segment. I will do the same on the second computer and also on the third computer, on the third cluster. Why do I do this? Well, because the next step then, what I will do is I'll put all the keys from A to M. I'm going to merge them into one file. This one, this one, and this one. I'm going to merge them into this file. Okay, key to A, A to M. The same thing I'm going to do with the keys N to Z. I'm going to merge them on a different file. And then I run the reducer. But I'm running the reducer in, in an already uh, perfectly sorted input. So whatever the reduce reduces here affects keys, keys A to M, and whatever the reducer reduces here affects keys N to Z, which is very good because then I just put these two files together and that's my reduced file. 